dog was sleeping. And right away, when he woke up, he could tell it was a naughty day. But every day began the same way for Dog. He checked his messages. Petted, 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 was hungry. Now, every morning, he waited until the man or the woman came out of the farmhouse, rattled his food dish, and said, Dog! Chow time! He was a good dog. He was a good dog, but it was a naughty day. And there was a doggy door into the farmhouse. The man and the woman were still asleep upstairs. And Dog's food was rolled up in a paper bag over by the refrigerator. He was a good dog, but it was a naughty day. Dog food scattered across the kitchen floor upstairs. A light turned on. It's that dog! Dog! Left! Clickety, clickety, click. He went to the best hiding spot on the farm. Underneath. saw the man walk out of the farmhouse and pick up a stick, but he headed out to the field. All morning, Dog laid low. All morning, Dog waited for somebody to come out and rattle a food dish and say, Dog, chow time! But no one did. When the sun was high in the sky, Dog went back to the farmhouse. He was a good dog, but it was a naughty day. The woman was standing with her back to him, working on something on the kitchen counter. Now, where did I put that salt? She said, and as she turned away to look in the cupboards, Dog's eyes confirmed what his nose had already found on the counter, calling his name waiting for him was a thick, red, juicy steak. Oh, he was a good dog, but it was a naughty day. Clickety, 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 click. Ow! Dog! But dog was out. Clickety, clickety, click. Oh, dog needed a better hiding spot than under the chicken coop. He ran through the barn. Through the barnyard, pet it, pet it, pet through the trees, pet it, pet it, pet across the field, pet it, pet it, pet it, pet it, pet it, pet down the hill until thud it, thud it, thud it, thud it, thud. He came to the little wooden bridge that crossed the stream. Steak still clamped between his teeth. into the stream, he saw another dog looking back at him. A 
another dog with another steak. A bigger steak. A juicier steak. Now, on any other day, a dog might have been satisfied with one steak, but it was a naughty day, and he wanted both steaks. <sighs> said dog. But at the exact same moment, the dog in the river looked up and said, <sighs> Oh, that made the hackles stand up on the back of dogs. <sighs> said the dog in the river. Well, no one was going to speak to dog like that without another thought. He... The other dog was gone. The other steak was gone. Dog steak was gone. <sighs> Sometimes naughty days were hard. Dog went back up the hill, petted a 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 petted through the trees, petted a petted a petted a petted across the field, through the barnyard, into the barn, pet it, pet it, pet it, pet it, past the chicken coop. <laughs> and he laid down in his doghouse. Now, you might suppose that the moral of this story is, greedy people end up with less. But that's people. Dog was a dog, and he didn't trouble himself with silly things like morals.